Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a channel reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of June, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's called Two Sides, One Story. It's basically a reading that brings guidance and perspective um, to one situation you might have in mind, but where there's the type of um, both positive and negatives being experienced, light and shadow archetypes being played out, and where you're trying to understand if a situation is actually more favorable or less so uh, in this uh, type of uh, dual evaluation. So if you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, again, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Libra, there's a sense of excitement about mid-June. I feel like for some of you, you're very fast on your track. It's like you you want to keep moving, you want to keep exploring, you want to keep changing and adding and doing things that make you feel like you're actively pursuing something. And some of you Libras will be during mid-June in particular, very focused in a target you might have in mind with the eight of wants is the opportunity there's really a sense of target really an aim a goal an intention um that is like you're hunting down until you get what you want so some of you that have been waiting for that time where you might feel you know confidence to pursue something to do something say something this is a time where midjun brings a sense of acceleration to your um it's like a booster to your to your doubts, to your indecision, to your fears, it's like no longer kind of that matters. It's like breaking free from um, really heavy. Some of you are breaking free from really heavy prejudices. It's like uh, you've had something that was like a prejudice that, you know, made you bow down to a circumstance um to something in your life where you couldn't feel that freedom where you couldn't feel that freedom of action and it's like some of you are breaking free from whatever this represents to you where you felt like chained chained into something you couldn't be free from and the fact that you're feeling free and you're outwardly expressing this freedom. Some of you are outwardly expressing this freedom by doing real bold things, by taking initiative in doing things you perhaps never dare to do. Perhaps you're, um, you know, attracted to, you know, wild sports or adventures, uh, you know, things that are completely out of your usual uh, routine and choices safe choices the thing is that some of you Libras don't want to play safe anymore or you don't want to play safe at all when it comes to something again you're seeing as being your opportunity to live a life filled with thrill these two cards together is really about thrill the thrill of the chase the thrill of going after something the thrill of pursuing our ambitions pursuing our desires the thrill as well of feeling you know that strong sense of purpose power in our hands to do things to do things to say things to decide things just because we feel like doing it so there's a little, a little, uh, um, I'm sorry, there's a lot of um, a sense to some of you Libras during mid-June is like you feel so ready to something. And it could be very sudden, um, this like uh, availability to do something, this being receptive to do something that perhaps you didn't think you would I keep getting like there's something you didn't think you would be you know capable of doing that you're setting yourself to do very soon for some of you also you know there can be a lot of passionate communication coming in during this time so you could be exchanging a lot of passionate messages perhaps there's a lot of flirt here um some of you that have been kind of desiring to communicate with 
a person of interest where there's a lot of passion, this time can be fruitful. There could be like real sense of like fruitful when it comes to the communication um, that you're exchanging with someone else during this time will open, you know, on its own new ways of relating, new ways of exploring your future relationship dynamics. I'm not sure if um, your understanding here is like, if you're connecting with someone new or if you're connecting with an old flame, if you're connecting with anyone where you feel very thrilled to do that, where there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, a lot of mutual creative, perhaps, um, compatibility, or where there's just this, um, there's intensity about the communication exchange. exchange. Uh, those can be indications, you know, because all of this is the opportunity and the advice. Like, those can be indications that you're to, you know, open here a door, that you have here a new beginning, where from passion, something is transformed into new interactions, new ways of relating, new ways of, you know, understanding you and others and the place everything has. So there's a little bit of like um, innovation, even when it comes to relationships, you know, perhaps different ways of dating, different ways of, um, you know, living together, different ways of flirting, different ways of communicating um or pursuing you know your career interests your financial interests anything that it's brand new for libras is um how you call it is um it is is so favorable here anything that you can do and and put brand new into your life and it could be a brand new mentality, mindset, a brand new hobby, a brand new person or relationship, a brand new way of doing something. Um, it could be that, you know, your, for some of you Libras, your path of success, your path of liberation, your path of, um, how you call it, like, ownership of your own life it has come in a moment like it's a moment where you're only going to be left behind or to miss on something if you really want to it's like your time has come to do something to say something to shine to um be heard to be loved to be something, something you feel like, you know, you have been waiting for a long time, like to this chance. There's mid June is a chance, you know, that you don't want to miss, and you will only miss if you choose to. Because I keep getting like for some of you Libras, some a minority, I feel your past or the past influences are still very influential so you're still like your memories your mistakes your previous associations or emotions your childhood uh, things of reference of the past are still very much something you can't deny as being important or um, something to consider in the whole picture of the events in mid-june and i feel like for some of you libras you want to focus in the future you want to focus on what's next not you know at the cost of anything it's not like you like you 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 deny what you're feeling it's not about denying what you're feeling or what you're still attached to it's about looking forward still holding in truth again all those things that are still relevant to you are still kind of important to you and i say this because again i feel like you're able to bring your baggage you're able to bring your baggage 
into this new type of lifestyle or a new type of situation and experience you're about to live and completely reform it. So for those of you that you're still in this energy of, I, I, I'm not, for example, imagine that you have lived your whole life in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place, in a specific place. Obviously, you have a lot of emotions attached to this place and memories you have lived all your life. And now an amazing opportunity presents itself for you to live elsewhere. And you know that this is a great opportunity and you feel thrilled about that. But yet at the same time, you feel nostalgic about the fact or unsure about the fact of leaving a place that meant so much for you. I feel like, you know what you will be living in a, in a, in the new um place circumstance situation you will be able to relive and put from your memories like you will be able to put the best things about those memories and about that baggage into the present and future narratives in a way like momentums in a way like they're not absent they're not gone they're just in a different place they're just arranged differently you can still see see them feel them you're just not you know um missing on other things because of that same thing that has kind of kept you held back so i hope i'm explaining myself in a way you can understand but either way there's a chance also for some of you libras that communication is coming your way and fast fast, passionate communication is coming your way. And it could be from someone of the past. It could be from, um, you know, an old kind of acquaintance person, you know, someone that goes back for some time in your life, Libra. So it could be, you know, someone you have known for, from your childhood that you lost contact. It could be obviously a previous relationship person of interest it can be a contact you know that out of the blue pops up and uh you're kind of adapting to this type of uh event because i feel like there will be perhaps something occurring that it's exciting surprising at the same time it leaves you questioning now what now what's my reaction now what i'm go going to answer now what i'm going to decide what am i going to do what am I going to reply? So some of you, you could really be surprised. Either you are the element that it's surprised or you are the element surprising. Either way, it's the presence of this thrill about mid-June that brings, you know, a lot of, you know, fireworks into your life. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.